What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for guys today and in this video I just want to give you guys a quick overview of the Incase Neoprene Sleeve Plus for the uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch. Anyway, I just picked this thing up at the Apple Store when I was in uh, Toronto at the Eaton Center a few days ago and I just wanted a basic regular sleeve, you know, no fanciness to it, no pockets or anything, just a basic sleeve basic sleeve uh, for the MacBook and I uh, decided to offer for the Incase one as, you know, I'm familiar with Incase products and they're pretty good quality and, def and I'm sure, you know, the Incase Sleeve here will definitely uh, last me quite a while. Anyways, they do have a few higher end versions uh, that have pockets and stuff, and uh, some are made in nylon. They have a canvas version as well, which I was thinking of getting, so you know, to match the uh, backpack here. But just decided, just wanted a basic sleeve, uh, no need to spend extra money on extra stuff but anyways this is the uh, neoprene plus version for the uh, 15 inch macbook pro of course they do make these for all macbook sizes so the 17 inch 15 inch 13 inch the 13 inch regular macbook and the macbook air and the ipads as well so you got a full range of uh, sleeves there for quite a few apple products uh anyways um later in this video we'll, sh we'll show you guys the difference between the regular version and the plus version they are the same price and uh on at least that's i checked on the in case website as well as the apple store however i don't think um they sell the regular versions anymore so they're not the do uh, you don't have to really worry about that? Hey, it's just a quick overview of the case. It's just a basic sleeve, like I mentioned, made of a neoprene material. And if you've never seen or felt this kind of material, it's kind of the same thing as a. I think they use these on a bike seat covers, you know, those gel bike seat covers, covers they call them, and uh, it's pretty much the same material. Very, very soft, offers offers a uh, quite a bit of protection. So, uh, great thing about sleeves is just they make it a lot more easier to carry your MacBook around and also offer 100% uh, protection. So, if you ever, you know, uh, drop this or something, you can definitely uh, depend on this case to uh, save your MacBook from, you know, scuffs, dents, and damages like that. Um. Anyways, uh, first off, you just got the uh, Incase logo here, which is uh, nice and flush with the uh, rest of the case. On the uh, top here, of course, we just have the um, zipper, and they're YKK zippers, so they're very durable. Uh, YKK, if you don't know them, they make uh, zippers for pretty much, uh, you know, brand clothing, um, uh, coats, uh, backpacks, obviously laptop sleeves here, and just a bunch of other stuff, so you can definitely depend on them to not break on you all of a sudden. Uh, it does have a perforated edge here and with a bunch of holes in it and the mesh lining on top to add extra strength and the main purpose of this is just to help the uh, sleeve supposedly uh, to breathe so you know if, uh, if, you, if you just threw in your MacBook and it was really hot you know, so the heat can escape and all that. But anyways so yeah it goes all the way around the uh, uh, sleeve here all the way to the uh, other side and you got the uh, in case logo here, and I do apologize for the uh, one hand video. I know a lot of you guys are not a huge fan of that. And uh, finally, we we'll just pop this thing open. And main person's main per or main uh, reason I don't know why I said person. Main reason why I recommend the in case one is because they're the only ones that I saw at the Apple Store that have this beautiful soft faux fur lining in here. It's faux meaning fake, of course, but it's very very soft material and aligns the entire inside of this case. You can definitely uh, depend on this to keep your MacBook Pro or uh, any uh, device you throw in here uh, nice and protected and uh, safe and also adds a bit of cushioning as well you know in case you ever drop it and with the plus versions uh, you also get this uh, extra faux fur lining that goes over the top of the MacBook here and uh, how it works is when you zip it up this will overlap the top of the MacBook and this part will overlap that so you get top protection so the MacBook never makes you know contact with the zippers and also provides a bit of a top protection if you ever you know drop it and it hits the ground on the uh, top or something, but anyway, so no extra pockets or anything like mentioned. It's just it's just a standard sleeve, which is exactly what I wanted. And I got the uh, in case logo on this side, and uh, we'll just show you guys how to take this thing in and out. Oh, and uh, also, guys, I do have the uh, a. Uh, plastic hard shell case on the MacBook here and you guys can see it still fits in the case here very very well if you do get the in case hard shell it does have a soft touch cone on it which might make it a little bit difficult to take in and out but it's not that hard at all and as you can see it does fit pretty much perfectly it's nice and snug in there it's not too big not too loose and uh, not too small so anyways um so I'm just gonna set the iPhone down and hopefully you guys get a decent whoops uh, hopefully you guys get a decent view of the uh, case here how you remove it is you just put one hand on the bottom and you take your other hand to grab the MacBook and you pull on the sleeve and just slides out like that. So I don't know if uh, you guys really saw that because unfortunately they don't make a tripod for the iPhone. But anyways, as you can see it's uh, removed and here's just a quick view of the inside. You guys can see the entire inside is lined with faux fur and uh, the uh, on the sides of the case here you guys can see there's an extra layer of uh, faux fur so we got one layer there and this has got another part that kind of overlaps that so you get extra uh, 
side protection as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for the sleeve. And just a quick overview of the differences between the regular version. I do have a like regular version here. This is obviously like the mini neoprene sleeve version, but the design, and everything, material is the same thing. And the regular version has a different, different uh, perforated edge. And the I find the one on the plus version a lot more uh, has a lot more cushioning in it, and uh, it just seems it looks a lot more nicer in my opinion as well. So you definitely get better uh, side protection. Um, the in-case logo on the regular version, as you can see, it's a big like a you know, rubber stamp kind of thing that kind of bulges out. Uh, with the this one here, it's a lot more flush with the case, which I like very a lot or a lot, uh, mainly because you know if you throw this in your backpack, you throw books and stuff in there, it won't snag on the uh, logo here. Uh, this one's nice and flush, so you know you just glide through it. And um, the zippers are pretty much the same thing. They are both YKK zippers. The only difference is this one's a lot more rounded and uh, not as squared off as uh, this one here. And also, I do find the uh, vers regular version or the original version a lot more uh, has a, more of a rubbery grip. This one's more of a plastic grip, but you know that's okay. They're just zippers and they're very pretty durable. Last thing, of course, um, the uh, regular version does not have. Let me just open this up. The regular version does not have this um, the extra four for lining that goes on the top here. This one just has a two um, nylon cushions here. So this one, the plus version, you get extra top protection as well, like I mentioned earlier. And um, the last thing is the uh, regular version does not have the extra uh, faux fur uh, cushioning on the uh, sides. So you guys can see there's an extra lining here for faux fur. It just folds up like that. You got one layer here. And just got a second layer that goes on top of that. So, anyways, other than that, um, they're pretty much kind of identical in design, but uh, there are, you know, quite a few design improvements on the plus version. It offers a lot more protection and a lot more cushioning for um, uh, covering your, and protecting your MacBook. But, anyways, if you had to choose, definitely get the plus version. They're the same price, and uh, so you don't definitely pick the uh, more. Uh, better one you could say. Anyways that's uh, pretty much it for the video and um, I guess I'll just show you guys how to put the MacBook in here again. So anyways, you just take your uh, MacBook, take the sleeve and you just uh, slide it in. And uh, for those of you who are concerned when you slide it in, the zippers uh, make in contact with the MacBook, they uh, really can't because you have this extra fur lining that actually goes over the zipper so when you're sliding it in you don't have to worry about that. And we'll just, uh, whoops, finish doing that. If I can just straighten my iPhone, there we go. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it still fits in there very nicely. It doesn't, you know, take too much force to push it in, actually. And once you start using it, the neoprene will kind of stretch a little bit so it can accommodate uh, your MacBook and uh, the fit of it. And you just zip it up. And uh, when you do zip it up, you guys can see uh, the full for lining actually, you know, overlaps your MacBook, and then this part here overlaps the full for lining. So you zip it up; it covers all that, so it doesn't make contact with the zippers or anything. And uh, you're all good to go. So, anyways, um, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Sorry, it was a bit long for a sleeve, but just wanted to, you know, cover all the aspects of it and show you guys the differences between the regular and the plus version. Like I mentioned, retails for around thirty, forty dollars on the Apple Store. It's not too bad. And if I had to choose between, um, you know, a hard shell case like the one I already have on my MacBook or a sleeve, definitely recommend a sleeve. It's a lot more convenient for most people. But if you want to, you know, double protection, definitely recommend getting both. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this, and that's my uh, hands-on review. The in case near new premium sleeve plus for the 15 inch Mac Pro. If you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button up there. More videos to come, and I'll see you guys in the next video. A peace.